Welcome to EPG Patashala. Dear students, today we will be learning about another water soluble vitamin, riboflavin. I, Dr. C. Anita, will explain about it. Let us get started with an introduction to riboflavin. The riboflavin was discovered in milk in the year 1879 from a pigment which proposed yellow green fluorescent but later another scientist found it from varying sources such as liver, yeast, heart and egg white. The pigment which propose these uh, flu fluorescent properties are designated as flavins. Earlier the substance in yeast which prevented polyneuritrix was found to be more than one vitamin. The antineuritic uh, factor was destroyed by meat and was called thiamine. Another factor not destroyed by heat and did not prevent to or cure uh, polyneuritics but was needed for go growth it is called as riboflavin or vitamin B2. After listening to this episode you will be able to discuss the history, understand the structure and chemical characteristics, describe the dis distribution, digestion and absorption and understand the storage and excretion of riboflavin. Let us start by getting, let us start first by getting to know about the evolution of riboflavin. In the pioneering studies by Mike McCollin and Kennedy, in the early part of the 20th century, water soluble tissue extracts were found to be effective in the prevention of the deficiency state of pellagra in experimental animals. As studies progressed, it became evident that there was uh, there were at least two distinct factions of these extracts one of which was heat liable and the other heat stable in 1879 betel isolated lactochrome a water soluble yellow fluorescent material from ve which was thought to be vitamin like substances in 1920s, vitamin B2 was thought to be the factor necessary for preventing pellagra. Again in 1932, Van Berg and Christine extracted a yellow enzyme from Brewer's yeast and suggested that it plays an important part in cell respiration. Kuhn and co workers in 1933 also obtained a crystalline yellow pigment with growth promoting properties from egg white and whey, which they identify it as vitamin B2. They demonstrated that thiamine free extracts of yeast, liver, or rice bran prevented the growth failure of rats fed a thiamine supplemented diet. Later in 1934, and associates in Hiddelberg and Carrer and colleagues in Zurich synthesized pure riboflavin and was named riboflavin in 1937. This was further theorol explained the structure of flavin mononucleotide that is FMN. In 1938 Warburg and Christine isolated the characterized flavin adenine dinucleotide and demonstrated its involvement as a coenzyme. It was in 1941, several and co workers demonstrated the clinical signs of riboflavin deficiency in human feeding experiments. And the structure of riboflavin riboflavin consists of a flavin to which is attached uh, ribitol a sugar alcohol side chain the structure of riboflavin and its two coenzyme derivatives flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide riboflavin was isolated and later synthesized kun and co-workers showed its structure along with zint grigory and wanger jenneri in 1933 it is a polar structure and therefore water soluble in nature. The bipolar bonds with carbon and oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen with 4 H bonds between and oxygen. The structure features 3 benzene rings with 6 tetrahedron bond shapes. Now coming to the chemistry and characteristics. The name riboflavin was given because of its similarity of part of its structure to that of the sugar ribose and because of its relation to the general group of flavins. Riboflavin in its pure state is better in taste, orange, yellow 
odorless compound in which dry states are needle shaped it dissolves sparingly in water to give a characteristic greenish yellow fluorescence when in solution it readily gets decomposed by ultraviolet rays and visible light and is sensitive to strong alkaline solutions this vitamin is stable to heat to oxidizing agents and to acids physiology of riboflavin Riboflavin is present in free state in foods or in combination with phosphate or with protein and phosphate. Riboflavin is observed from the upper part of the small intestine and phosphorylated in the intestinal wall. It is present in the body tissues as the coenzyme or flavin proteins. Body does contain some amount of riboflavin in liver and kidney but it cannot store beyond a certain portion since the urine excretion increases markedly to its exceeds 0.75 mg per 1000 kilo calories now let us identify some of the food sources of riboflavin riboflavin is widely distributed in variety of foods especially animal sources the best source of riboflavin are liver milk and milk products eggs and meat green vegetables like spinach provide fairly good sources cereals and flours are ordinarily low in riboflavin fruits roots and tubers are poor sources of riboflavin and fats and oils are partially devoid of this vitamin daily consumption of breakfast cereal with milk would be expected to maintain an adequate intake of riboflavin thus various studies from different countries have shown a higher riboflavin intake or better riboflavin status among those who consume cereal with milk at breakfast than those who do not irrespective of age riboflavin is an essential human nutrient that is a heat stable and water soluble the structure of riboflavin and its two coenzyme derivatives that is flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide and also learnt about foods with high concentration of riboflavin that is animal food sources now let us discuss the distribution absorption digestion and metabolism distribution and absorption Generally animal sources of riboflavin absorption are thought to be better absorbed than plant sources the form of riboflavin in foods varies also has effect on absorption in some foods riboflavin is found as free or protein bound riboflavin in other foods riboflavin is found as flavin mononucleotide or flavin adenine dinucleotide Riboflavin in food as flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine nucleotide must be freed prior to absorption. Riboflavin attached to protein is freed by the action of hydrochloric acid and gastric and intestinal enzymes. Free riboflavin is absorbed via an energy dependent carrier mechanism primarily in the proximal small intestine riboflavin may be absorbed by diffusion free riboflavin is absorbed by active transport that is sodium dependent mainly in the duodenum a small amount of riboflavin is absorbed in the large intestine within the intestinal lumen enzymes such as fad pyrophosphatase and fmn phosphatase play an important role in the absorption process within intestinal lumen fad converted to fmn a reaction catalyzed by flavokinase and requiring atp and fmn in turn is converted to free riboflavin by fmn phosphatase at the zero cell surface most of the fmn is dephosphorylated by a non specific alkaline phosphatase to riboflavin which enters portal blood for transport to the liver in the liver the vitamin is converted to fmn and to its other coenzyme derivatives fad fad is predominant flavo enzyme in tissues absorption rate is proportional to dose about 95% of riboflavin intake from food is absorbed up to a maximum of about 25 mg 
while it is free riboflavin that is transported into and out of the cells within cells riboflavin is typically converted to its coenzyme forms by flavokinase and fad synthetase both of which are widely distributed in the tissues a small amount of riboflavin is present in foods as free riboflavin which is an isoalkylosine ring bound to a ribitol side chain most is present as the derivatives of fad and a smaller amount occurs as the monophosphorylated form that is fmn fad and fmn occur predominantly in a non covalently bond form of enzymes flavins that are covalently bond do not appear to be available for absorption a prerequisite for the absorption of dietary riboflavin is the hydrolysis of fad and fmn to riboflavin catalyzed by non specific phosphatases in the brush border membranes of erythrocytes Initially, free riboflavin is taken up into erythrocyte and undergoes ATP-dependent phosphorylation catalyzed by systolic flavokinase to form FMN and most of this is further converted to FAD by a FAD-dependent FAD synthetase. Non-specific phosphatases act on intracellular flavins to permit transport across the basolateral membrane. Riboflavin may enter the plasma from the small intestine as a free form or as FMN. Research has indicated that carrier-mediated absorption of riboflavin in the colon might be more important than previously thought. Riboflavin synthesized by bacterial metabolism in the colon might therefore be a more important source of this vitamin than previously recognized. Let us learn about the factors that may interfere with the absorption of riboflavin as this information will be a supplement for each other. Factors affecting the absorption. Divalent metal such as copper, zinc, iron and manganese have been shown to chelate riboflavin and flavin mononucleotide and to inhibit riboflavin absorption. Ingestion of alcohol also impairs riboflavin digestion and absorption. Most flavins in plasma are found as riboflavin rather than as one of its coenzyme forms. Although all three forms may be present that is uh, albumin, fibrinogen and globulins. Riboflavin is found in small quantities in a variety of tissues. Free riboflavin is transported into and out of the cells within cells. Riboflavin is typically converted to its coenzyme form by flavokinase and FAD synthetase, both of which are widely distributed in tissues, especially the liver, small intestine, kidney and heart. We earlier understood the process of absorption and distribution. Now we will try to brief with the transportation, transport and metabolism of riboflavin. Riboflavin, FMN and FAD are transported in the plasma by a variety of proteins including albumin, fibrinogen and globulins. Albumin appears to be the primary transport protein. Endocrine glands plays an important role in the control of various aspects of riboflavin metabolism. The conversion of riboflavin into flavin mononucleotide or flavin adenine dinucleotide synthesis is subjected to hormonal regulations like ACTH, aldosterone and thyroid. Studies in various species confirm the presence of similar riboflavin binding proteins in the circulation which have been ascribed various functions including placental transport. Increased plasma binding of riboflavin has been reported in patients with malignancies attributable to an elevation in specific immunoglobulins which also contribute to riboflavin retention in such patients. Almost all riboflavin in tissues in enzyme bound such as FAD, covalently bound succinic dehydroxygenase, unbounded flavins are relatively very liable and are rapidly hydrolyzed to free riboflavin which diffuses from cells and is excreted. The intracellular phosphorylation of riboflavin is therefore a form of metabolic trapping key to riboflavin hemostatus. 
study the storage of riboflavin in the body and its excretion. Stored riboflavin is found in small amounts in tissues of the body. The greatest concentration of stored riboflavin is in liver, kidney and heart. Some studies have documented that the body can store enough riboflavin to meet its needs for 2 to 6 weeks. Riboflavin and its metabolites are excreted primarily along with unused forms like riboflavin bound to cysteine or histidine in the urine with only small amounts lost via the feces. Fecal riboflavin metabolites may also rise from the metabolism of riboflavin in the intestinal flora. Most of riboflavin is excreted in the free form. Some might be glycosylated in the liver prior to excretion. Fecal riboflavin metabolites are the result of catabolism of riboflavin by intestinal bacteria. Students, let us sum up today's episode. In this episode, we learnt about the history of riboflavin as riboflavin was one of the first of the B vitamins identified. Riboflavin is an essential component of nucleic acid for cofactors, flavin adenine, dinucleotide and flavin mononucleotide. Riboflavin is widely distributed in foods where it is present almost exclusively bound to proteins mainly in the form of flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide. The chemistry of riboflavin was briefed as it has the appearance of a yellow to orange amorphous solid and has solubility in water. Riboflavin is unique among the water soluble vitamins in that milk and dairy products make the greatest contribution to its intake. In the consequence sections we learnt about the food sources. Meat and fish are also good sources of riboflavin and certain food, fruits and vegetables especially dark green leaf vegetables contain reasonably high concentrations. Riboflavin digestion is facilitated by hydro hydrochloric acid in the stomach which realize, releases riboflavin from its bond form. Finally, we dealt with the absorption and metabolism where absorption occurs primarily through active transport or facilitated diffusion in the small intestine. Riboflavin is converted into coenzyme forms FMN and FAD in most tissues but primarily the small intestine, liver, heart and kidney. It is transported in the blood by protein carriers. A small amount is stored in the liver, kidneys and heart. However, the nature of water soluble vitamins is that the excess amount is excreted in the urine. It has a bright yellow hue to the urine when high amounts are excreted. Students, hope you have understood today's episode. Thank you.